Papa Gunner Reviews, the new Doctor Who season, episode uno y dos. Let's find out if the new Doctor is the fix or not. Papa Gunner Reviews are for adults and kids that want to enjoy things together. My grade scale, especially for this, is going to be must see, must stream, check it out, and then pass. A little bit about me as far as a Doctor Who fan. I've been a Doctor Who fan for a long time. I got into it late. Someone told me about, checked it out, started with Chris Eccleston, with a, which I believe is the ninth Doctor. Yes, the ninth Doctor. Fell in love with that. It's cheesy, it's campy, but it's intense, it's sci-fi. It's this guy who's a Time Lord. He has two hearts, so when he dies, he just regenerates into another person, which is really cool because you could just start with a new season and they start kind of fresh and anew. They have remnants of previous iterations, but for the most part, they are kind of new. I fell in love with that. Love Chris Eccleston. He's my first, and that being so, he's my first love as far as Doctor goes. And then, of course, Tennant was phenomenal. Personally, I thought his run was a little too long, but it was more of the best. Loved Matt Smith. He was so fresh, so new, no, so different. It was a blast and his companions were so great. Actually, all their companions are phenomenal. One of the best things about that show are the companions and how they have this back and forth, kind of like this sexual tension. And then, you know, once they get past that, it's, it changes the relationship and it's, it's interesting. It gets more interesting. And then now we have this new doctor. So let's find out about him and his first two episodes. The first two new episodes came out on Disney Plus on the same day. It is rated PG, so I did watch it with the kiddos as I did watch the Christmas specials with them, which the first one is on there as the first episode of the new season, but it's actually the second and third episodes are the new episodes of the new season. My kiddos and I really enjoyed the first episode, which was about space babies. Babies in space, they are on a space station, they're stuck there, they can talk, and there is this monster in the basement level, and they're just marooned in space. And so the doctor shows up with his companion to help them and it was a fun and enjoyable episode it was pretty intense and i liked it it was a really good time then our second episode was about this trans character named maestro and they terrifying person of power this one they go back to the 60s to the beatles making abbey road and it's just garbage it's trash like they suck it's awful that's because maestro stole the music from this conductor's heart and it just messed up the timeline for music and is stealing all the music from everyone's heart and if you do use it they will kill you off screen mind you so they don't show anything but you still know now this one the kids completely lost interest it was two in the weeds for them i enjoyed it i had a good time personally i love the beatles so it was going to be hard for me and they do this too where it's like can you do it though can you really do justice to the beatles and i won't say that they ruined the beatles but it's just too hard of a thing to really fully get the essence of the Beatles in how little they are in the show. And so I, I didn't really feel like they fully captured the magic of it, but that is kind of what ends up saving the day and ends up being a fun and enjoy. I mean, it was scary and it was intense, but it ends up being a pretty solid episode. I will say I really do enjoy this doctor so far. He's having fun with it but he also brings a certain level of gravitas and seriousness that's perfect for the Doctor. Like this sorrow and joy and intrigue and mystery, he captures it all 
and I'm loving him so far as well as his companion. These two episodes surprisingly do go well together. Kiddos enjoyed the first one, so did I. I like the second one, they couldn't care less about the second one. Personally for myself, I'm gonna give it a must see, must stream. Obviously for the kiddos, the first one is a must see, must stream, but the second one is going to probably be a pass for them. Talk nerdy to me, tell me what you thought, like, comment, subscribe. Check out our website, tntmtheshow.com, the store for this merch, as it is on sale with free shipping since Doctor Who is out, as well as X-Men, Star Trek, and Star Wars. Remember, 5% of any profit that we make will be donated to our charity of the month, which is National Alliance on Mental Illness for Mile. So help us help them by buying some of this sweet merch or donate directly to them on any of our social medias. Talk nerdy to me.